I remember our first night in Bulgaria, uh, we were so jet lagged that about 4 a.m. Uh, we went down the street to a local coffee shop to get a cup of coffee. And uh, you gotta imagine the scene, we're in this smoke-filled coffee shop. There's uh, some drunk men over in this corner and there's some homeless guy over here and the barista's uh, watching some kind of Euro pop TV channel. And, and the waitress can't be bothered to come over and take an order until she finishes her cigarette. <laughs> and you can just feel in this, this four o'clock in the morning, very sad coffee shop, the hopelessness and the desperation all around you. People weren't really living. They were just existing because they didn't know the author of life. And even today, 99% of the people in Bulgaria have never opened a Bible or heard the, the good news of Jesus Christ. And the task that is still unfinished in our partnerships there are areas that uh, do not have a gospel witness. They are in great need of pastors and evangelists and Sunday school teachers, youth leaders, etc. You might be surprised to know that the Japanese are the second largest unreached people group in the world. Even though missionaries have been in Japan for many decades, less than one half of one percent of the population are evangelical believers. Most Japanese have never been to church have never read the Bible, and have no Christian friends. It is estimated that 95% of the Japanese have never heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. They raise a new generation that will follow in the same life cycle. As to the number of evangelicals in Spain, estimates suggest that the number is only about 1% of the population. With 47 million inhabitants, Spain is considered to be the least evangelized Spanish-speaking country in the world. 92% of all towns in Spain have no evangelical church. We're talking about millions of people who are represented through our students that we get to meet with that just simply do not know this gospel, this good news. The, the simplest things that our, our four-year-olds know in our preschools, at church, and, and Sunday schools, um, these students just have no idea about. Once a church is established in one community, we often want to kind of check the box and say that that region has been reached and move on to another region. In reality, social, cultural, familial, and even ethnic barriers often prevent the spread of the gospel. Bulgaria needs healthy local churches if we're going to break down the strongholds of death and deceit that have ruined Bulgaria since the days of communism. And our plan? The plan is to break this ongoing cycle. And the only thing that can break the cycle is the power of the gospel. In spite of the challenges, we are convinced of our calling, committed to laboring, and desiring to see a wave of Spaniards turn to God. In recent years, our personnel has focused on trying to build relationships with people, getting involved in the communities where we live, through sports, choirs, clubs, nursing homes, participation in the schools where our children attend, etc. Other efforts include providing help through food distribution, classes for immigrants, and English conversation for all ages. These are all bridges to help reach the lost, make disciples, and build the church. We focus on evangelistic outreach in all of our churches, and we not only work at discipling believers in our churches, but in developing national leadership to carry on the work. The more healthy churches we have in Bulgaria, the more that society will be changed by the gospel of Jesus Christ. We'll be the first Free Will Baptist missionaries that I am is sending to Ecuador. Fortunately, we have an opportunity to change that outcome by utilizing the practical needs for education and healthcare to build relationships that can serve as bridges to addressing the very real spiritual needs of these peoples. Our strategy is to be out into the community and providing the community with some services that they need, but also more than that, uh, for spiritual direction and counsel, where, where we just meet uh, at their office for a coffee, and we just sit down and we have English conversations 
conversation with them, which opens up a whole world of possibilities uh, to share their stories, to hear their stories, to share our stories, and to speak the gospel into their lives. This all just allows us to let them know that there is people out there who love them, who love them through the love of God. And it's amazing to see there have been some students who have taken this and grabbed a hold of it as their truth. What's the progress? We have 12 churches today in Japan, eight churches in the northern island of Hokkaido, and four in the Tokyo area. And during the past few years, while other missions were reducing their personnel numbers, we as Free Will Baptists in Japan, we now have the largest number of Free Will Baptist missionaries ever in Japan. We are expanding our influence because of these added numbers. Until we started the church in Alcadrete, there had never been an evangelical church in the town. The gospel has gone out, his word has gone out, and we're trusting that uh, to do a good work in people's hearts. Uh, we've got five worship gatherings that are meeting weekly where uh, the Sambru of our area are being discipled in God's word, in their language, and worshiping God. But the main thing is they're being made disciples of Jesus, and uh, they're being encouraged to share that word with others and help them to make disciples. Free Will Baptist churches reach out in a host of ways to impact their communities with the gospel. Bible classes, evangelistic English classes, gospel music workshops, events at train stations, Bible clubs, VBS summer activities and outdoor gatherings and picnics are some of the activities that describe what's going on. Our contacts are ever increasing. And we're preparing the next generation of Bulgarians to take over leadership of the I am work in Bulgaria to plant churches in Bulgaria and to reach all people with the hope that is found in Jesus Christ. We've seen hundreds and hundreds come to Christ, become followers. Uh, we're discipling all of those that we can in our local areas. The gospel changes everything. We are talking about this task, this mission uh, that we see completed in John's vision and revelation of every nation, every tribe, every tongue around the throne of God. And, and we know that this mission has been so clearly given to us throughout all scripture and especially when Jesus tells us to make disciples of every nation that we can see that the task is not yet finished.